Hello my friend, welcome back to my channel and happy to see you here. Really interesting problem, 2 to the x plus 4 to the x plus 8 to the x equal to 155. And on the first side this problem is really hard because we have like all different bases. We have three exponents right here, x, x, x right here. We have a constant which is odd number so we cannot factor it in the way that we really need right now. But I want to show you a really good trick right here. Take a look closely. 2 to the x, okay, we cannot simplify this. 2 and 2 and 2, okay right here x not 2x 3x so we still have x so i write this to x right here but what about 4x 4 to the power x how can we write it of course 2 4 is a really good number because we can write it as 2 square and raise to the power x this is really good and let's go next plus right here 8 8 it's really good number as well because we can write it as 2 cube we all know right here 2 times 2 times 2 so equal to 8 2 cube and of course to the power x equal to 155 is not a good number so we need to leave it like that so 155 we cannot factor it we cannot write it as a power of 2 of 3 it is like odd number so we leave it like that okay what we're going to do next we need to know a really good rule right here this is the rule of interchange real quick so if we have a to the power x and you raise these as appearances like that to the power y we can write it as a to the power y raised to the power x so as you can see we can easily swap our powers our exponent real quick and nothing change for us why this rule is really good and correct of course is because when we have this situation this is equal to a to the power x times y and we know this is a product so as a result we can write it as a to the power y times x so as a result this is a really important rule and this is the proof why this rule is is correct okay let's do this rule of interchange 2 to the x plus 2 to the x square plus 2 to the x cube equal to 155 okay we have this this situation right now okay let's go next how can we solve it right now we can easily see that we have three same elements 2 to the x right here 2 to the x right here 2 to the x so it's really good to write a substitution let this 2 to the x will be equal to for example let's go with t what equation we will have from this one t from here t square because we have square plus t but cube equal to 155 okay we have this situation and if we change an order a little bit so if we write right here real quick change an order t cube at first plus t square and plus t equal to 155 we can easily see that it looks like a cube equation right here but moreover we need to bring this constant on the left so we will have t cube plus t square plus t and minus 155 equal to zero so right now we can easily see that this is our cube equation this is our cube equation and we need to solve it there are, there are a lot of methods how can we do this so with formulas but i want to show you my approach so if you don't interested in this you can solve it in your way but i want to show you my approach first of all i can see right now that we if you plug in five what we'll have we'll have 125 plus 25 5 square plus 5 155 so this is really good so t equal to 5 will be our solution this is by inspection so i hope you see right now or if you don't see this solution you can easily solve it in another way but i see real quick this t equal to 5 and right now we need to know that we need to factor t minus 5 so as a result how can we do this i want to show you my approach first of all we have t cube i write this t cube but in our minds we need to factor t minus 5 because we know this root right now t minus 5 will be our first parentheses so i write minus 5 t square and plus 6 t square because we have t square right here nothing changed for us as you can see right here this is equal to equal to t square so as a result we have the same constant as the same element as right here let's go next we have 6 t square and we have next t but we know that we need to factor t minus 5 so as a result i want to write minus 30 t and plus 31 t and in the end we will have minus 155 so this is my approach so you can understand it you can not understand it but i want to show you right here equal to t so as a result nothing changed for us this is the same equation but if you look closely if we take these elements by pairs so t cube minus 5 t square if we factor from this so we will factor t square so we'll in parentheses t minus 5 
Okay, let's go next. Plus right here, 60 square minus 30 T. Real quick factoring plus 60 and in parentheses T minus five. And the next one, 31 T minus 155. Real quick factoring plus 31 and in parentheses T minus five. So as I said before, this is my approach. Of course, you can solve it in another way. In, you can divide it by T minus five using formula, but I like this method so much because this is a real quick and really good method. Right now, t minus 5, t minus 5 and t minus 5. Easily we can factor this t minus 5. And in parentheses we will have t square from the first one plus 60 and plus 31 equal to 0. So we have this we have this product. Okay, right now a product equal to 0 then t minus 5 equal to 0 from here t equal to 5. This is our first root if we are talking about t. And let's go next. We will have the quadratic equation t square plus 60 and plus 31. What about a solution to this problem? Let's solve. Let's find real quick our discriminant. We know a equal to 1, b equal to 6, and c equal to 31. Yeah? Let's find discriminant real quick. Equal to b square minus 4ac, our classic formula. As a result, 36 minus four times one times 31, which is equal to, as you can see, this is negative, minus 124, this is negative one. So right here, we will have two complex roots, two complex, two complex roots. But this is root if you're talking about t. Then you need to plug in these complex roots right here in this substitution, two to the x equal to t. But this, it, it will be a long and boring video if you find right two complex roots and plug in right here with this 2 to the x, so we will have complex roots with log and with i, so it's it's compli complicated, so I want to show you a real number root real quick, t equal to 5, but t equal to 2 to the x, so 2 to the x equal to 5, from here log on both sides real quick, or natural log, or what you want, so log 2 to the x equal to log 5, and x goes down right here because this is the main log property so as a result x times log 2 equal to log 5. This is a constant, this is a constant, so let's divide both sides by this log 2, as a result it, it appears right here. So our answer real quick, our answer. We will have x equal to log 5 over log 2. This is our answer if we are talking about real number roots. And we will have two, two complex, complex, complex roots. Okay, this is my solution to this problem. What about you? Write your question in comment. Write your suggestion in comment. Write your answer if you're talking about your approach. Maybe you find another approach. How can you solve it? It's really interesting to read about it. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.